Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you little known chess brilliancy played by the magician from Riga Mikhail Tal. The name of his opponent is unknown and the game was played in 1973. In this game the 8th world chess champion had white pieces and he opened up with e4 to which black responded with Sicilian defense c5, knight f3 e6, d4 c takes d4, knight takes d4 and knight c6 we have the Sicilian time on off. Knight c3, which is the most common move, but c4, bishop e2, or knight takes c6 are also very popular. In our game, we have knight c3, a6, bishop e2, queen c7, white castled kingside, and b5. Knight f6 is a popular alternative, but in our game, we have b5, and Tal went for the exchange of knights. The idea is to deny black the possibility of recapturing with the bishop. That's why we see an immediate exchange of knights after b5. Queen takes c6. Of course, black can also recapture with the d pawn, a move which Peter Leko made against Vladimir Kramnik in 2000. But in our game, we have queen takes c6 and bishop f4. Bishop f3 is an alternative. By the way, it's more popular, but we see bishop f3 only after black's bishop b7. There it goes, bishop f3, d6, rook e1 and e5. With his last move, black is attacking the bishop on f4. But instead of thinking about moving it away, Tal went for a4. And it turns out that the bishop on f4 is untouchable. If you play e takes f4, then white has this e5 move. And yeah, once white manages to open up the position, this can be catastrophic for black. If we move like d5, trying to keep the e file closed, then White can play bishop takes d5, if queen d7 then e6 can follow, and all this is very scary. White has an irresistible attack. That's why after a4 we see b takes a4, rook takes a4 and queen c7, which is a strange move. Well, in here it was better to think about the development of the kingside pieces, and knight f6 is a nice move. Also from c6, the queen is keeping an eye on a4, but in our game we have queen c7, to which Tal answered with knight d5, attacking black queen. Bishop takes d5, black is giving up his queenside bishop, after which equation arises, who is going to guard the light squares? The rook on a8 is under attack, we have rook c8, and rook takes a6. So still up to this point, the bishop on f4 was hanging, and finally, at this point, black accepted the peace sacrifice, but after e takes f4, black's position collapses quickly. Instead, it, still, it was not too late to play knight f6. Though, already at this point, black's position looks very ugly. If queen d7, then white can play bishop e2. The idea is that now if you go for the exchange of queens, then suddenly black king can find himself in a very awkward position. Yeah, then white can play bishop d2, and yeah, with a nice bishop pair and a passed pawn on the b file, white can quickly finish up black. Also, the black king on e6 is vulnerable, and there is a this coordination in black's army. Or after bishop e2, if you want to go for the exchange of queens and play a move like e takes f4, then this time white can play queen b4 with the threat of bishop b5. If d5, then queen a5, and yeah, threats are all over the board. But in our game, after rook takes a6, we have e takes f4, which is even worse. And there it comes, e file is on the board. The black king is still stuck in the center of the board and now will fall victim to white's aggression. d takes e5, queen b5 check, queen d7, here comes rook takes e5. White is a piece down, but who cares? Who cares when all your kingside pieces are on their initial squares? Knight d7, well, if king d8, then rook d5 is winning. In our game we have knight e7, and after this devastating bishop c6 move, Tal forced the resignation. By the way, you can play bishop c6 after bishop e7 as well. A completely demoralized position, right guys? 
Now if rook takes c6, then rook a8 check is coming. And if queen c8, then this time you can step into another pin. Queen takes c6 is coming. Yeah. And then checkmate will follow. There it goes. White is announcing a checkmate. That's why after this beautiful bishop c6 move, black resigned. Another brilliant attack by the magician from Riga, where he punished his opponent for not completing his kingside development and not castling in time. In the end, a chess puzzle for you, where the task is to find mate in two. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. This game is from Karpov vs. Miles game and in here actually in the game it was black to move but let's consider that it's white to move. Then how can you finish up black king? That's the question and as usual leave your answer please in the comment section. Thanks for watching, here are more suggestions for you, feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video, take care.